Okay, so let's move on to talking about opioid therapy. Now, dosing wise, kind of like um, inset equal potency. So all opioids are equally potent at equally potent doses. We will talk about side effects, places in therapy, contraindications and precautions, key considerations in prescribing, including a little law review. And then some agent uh, dependent character considerations and characteristics. When we talk about opioids side effects wise, they can really be defined as acute and chronic. Now, I will say one thing that I missed it here was constipation. Constipation is both acute and chronic as a side effect, and you do not really gain tolerance to the constipation associated with opioids. So you will need to continue to provide things like stool softeners and stimulant laxatives to those patients. Acutely speaking, respiratory depression is one of the major side effects, especially when somebody ODs. Nausea and vomiting and pruritus and eukarya typically are uh, tolerable over time, but are main side effects. Urinary retention additionally kind of falls into constipation, though urinary retention you do typically um, overcome over time. Delirium sedation, hypotension, toxicity, and overdoses. Um, many of the things that we're talking about here will also be signs of toxicity, including meiosis. Chronically using opioids, you can get things like hypogonadism, mostly due to the lack of stress response because you've had um, opioids for so long. Uh, constipation, as mentioned before. Tolerance, withdrawal, abuse, and hyperalgesia are often um, confused with one another, so let's just talk about those a little bit more. Tolerance. Tolerance is the loss of efficacy over time after exposure to a drug. So, tolerance is I start an opioid. I find that like it starts working for me, but then all of a sudden it stops working for me. So I try higher dose and then it works for me a little bit. And then over time, my body gets used to said opioid and then I have to have a higher dose. So that's tolerance. Now, hyperalgesia sometimes gets confused with tolerance because hyperalgesia is where you all of a sudden have worsening pain and increased sensitivity to pain because of opioids. So this usually happens pretty quickly and titrating off the opioids is what's helpful for this as opposed to um, tolerance where increasing the dose helps it. Dependence and abuse and addiction are often confused as well. So abuse is a behavioral disorder. It's using opioids and sometimes using it in a way that um, is not prescribed, despite knowing the negative consequences. So that's things like using all your money to buy opioids, using illicit substances so you can get opioids, things like that. Dependence means that if I were to stop taking opioids, I would have withdrawal. So for example, you take your opioids as prescribed, right? All of a sudden, um, you can't get your refill. You go into withdrawal. That is dependent. Your body is dependent on opioids. Now, if you went into withdrawal and then you start getting heroin, that would be abuse. Contraindications. One to know is probably known or suspected gastrointestinal obstruction. Though we do use it sometimes in those patients for pain, we do try to use it as low a dose as possible. Um, does have a little bit of serotonergic effects, so monoamine oxidase inhibitors are considered side effect or um, drug drug interactions. You are supposed to get a yearly drug screen, so that's a urine drug screen. And then make sure that you do follow up with the risk versus benefits um, and try to have an, um, every one to four weeks and every three months during your maintenance phase.